It can be challenging to find time for creativity. I created this project in less than two hours. I hope it encourages you if you have a busy life like mine. I was hollow and closed In the morning I could not see you your beloved goodness I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Ellie was like, we need to get a video done in one day. This is my challenge. I have this hideous dress form that I made 10 years ago that's fallen apart, that's been out in the yard. I wanna see if I can transform it in one hour. It's, it's this beautiful dress form, and I'll show you a picture of what it used to look like when I first made it, but all the shells are chipping off. The skirt is all ripped up. There's actually a bug crawling on it right now. I'm gonna just wing it. I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is just rip off all the extra caca. And I think it's gonna rip off pretty easy because it's, it's been on here for literally 10 years. So all the fabric is decrepit and gross. I created this project 10 years ago, got sick of it, put it in storage. Now it needs a makeover. This is the back. I spent hours and hours gluing these shells on 10 years ago, meticulously. But you know, everything has its time and its season. I love this when I made it, but customers would touch it every day and I'd have to glue the shells back on all the time. What are we gonna do? We're gonna chisel it. <laughs> We're gonna chisel it. I finally got fed up, took it out of the store into our covered patio storage where it got really gross. I've got her almost all the way um, de-shelled. I'm going to slap some decoupage paper on her. I don't know, I might slap a little bit of white paint. I decided that it would be easier just to rip the fabric than to try and get all the glue bits off and the bumpy parts because I need a smooth surface. Because whenever you decoupage, you want white underneath so that the paper is really bright and distinct. But because this is white, I think that'll save me some time. Most decoupage paper is transparent, so I like to paint the surface white first so that the paper looks bright and crisp. In this case, I didn't need to because the underlayer was white. Rip this off! Yes! Goodbye! Now she's all nice and smooth and clean and all I have to do is decoupage her. I'm stoked! These are the papers that I pulled out. I don't know which ones I'm gonna use. Here is the mermaid decoupage paper. It's all by Jamie Ray Vintage and we have it on our website. Pick these two because they're new. This one is birds and these fall flowers. I have my favorite one that I always use, which is the butterflies. So I don't have that much time to decide. I think I'm just gonna rip them and do kind of a collage situation and just see what happens. Okay, I am using this. This is the clear liquid patina. It is an excellent decoupage medium. It's my favorite thing to use. You can get it on DIYPaint.co or you can click the link down below to find a retailer near you. I just poured some liquid patina out into a dish and I am going to apply it in little areas because it dries really fast. I'm going to work in sections like I'm going to think of this like a piece of pie. I am just going to set my paper down. I don't mind some wrinkles but I don't want crazy amounts of wrinkles and I just kind of want this ripped up layered look. I am just going to go in with some more liquid patina and apply it and then press the paper down. So far I like I like the look. I love this bird paper. I think it's perfect for fall and really, really pretty. And now I'm adding more liquid patina. And keep in mind, this is a fairly light white background. If my background was a color, I would paint it white so that what's showing underneath the paper would make the paper pop. Ripping the paper, in my opinion, is much better than cutting it. It softens the lines and gives it a more vintagey feel. I want to add in some of these butterflies because I don't want to use all the same paper. So I'm just going to rip it a little bit. I've got my butterfly ripped out. I think I'm going to apply it right here. I'm just going to eyeball it, add some more liquid patina, and keep going. I really like the ripped paper look because I don't want to cover up too much of the butterfly. And I just think it gives it a really pretty look. It's saving all the scraps so that I can use them in other places. So I'm just lifting up the paper and going in where I need more patina. It's pretty easy to do, it's pretty forgiving. 
guess if you were free, I could change my For the paper I want it to lay a little bit flatter and I may want it to rip right here. I can spray my brush with water and using the turquoise iris mister bottle. Just start going over the area where I want the paper to rip so that it lays flatter or just kind of push it down with my brush. I'm gonna line up this um, sharp edge of the corner of the paper with the bottom of the dress form and then have the ripped paper go across the side. It doesn't take much of the liquid patina to get the decoupage paper to stick. I'm going for a semi-wrinkly look, but the wrinkles do flatten out as the paper dries. Hey, Dad. He's tracing a scrap piece of wood because the base broke in half. The base had broken, so my dad cut a new one out of plywood so it wouldn't fall over while I was working on it. I went into my decoupage paper scrap pile, and these are all just bits and pieces from previous projects. I am going to um, add these to just fill in the gaps and get this thing done. So there's just a tiny little spot right here that just needs a little scrap. So I just took a little bit. I save every little bit piece of paper and I put it in a file so I can use it for future projects and I just go over it over the top with some more liquid patina fill in where there is some of the under part showing to finish off the neck there's this border to the paper so I have like the bottom edge ripped and jagged and I'm gonna leave the top plain and see if I can give her a little collar with this. Sometimes the design of the paper itself will inspire your layout. I like how the border of the butterfly paper created a collar and sleeves for the dress form. I have never, ever shot a video in one day. And I can't believe I did it in, it's not an hour, I'm not gonna lie, but it's probably like two. I have a lot of interruptions, but two hours. You could totally do it in two hours if nobody comes in to interrupt you. That is it. You can see there's paper all over the floor and she is done. The base still needs some work. My dad just slapped a piece of wood on there so that she wouldn't fall over. This is my favorite quick and easy finish for raw wood. Put down a watered down coat of weathered wood, let that dry, then apply clear wax and white wax over the top. Wipe it back and you have a weathered barn wood finish. It's me, Ellie. I just wanted to pop on and say this is our new phone number where we can text you guys at. This is actually us texting you. And if you just text a number on the screen and say your favorite paint color, we can add you to our group to send you reminders on when our videos are going out and when we're doing fun stuff. So be sure to text this number so we can get in contact. Okay, bye. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. Life is crazy and this is what it takes to get a video out sometimes. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. We are going live again every week, Saturday mornings at 945 on my Facebook page. It's a sneak peek inside the store and what we're up to. It's super fun, so text us if you want a reminder. To find DIY paint in your area, to sell it in your store, or to find the products used in this video, click the link below. Thanks for watching.